the Venus flytrap. Of these, only the last mentioned is very fast and looks the most menacing. The Venus flytrap, as with all the other insectivorous plants, grows in places where the soil is poor in nitrogen, such as swamps. The insects replenish the shortage of nitrogen that the plants require for the synthesis of proteins. When a fly or a mosquito lands on a spiked leaf, they touch the sensitive hairs. The leaves snap together. If a prey is not trapped, it continues to stimulate the hairs, and as a result, the leaves will continue closing. Thus, when the halves fully close, these so-called jaws make a sort of a stomach where digestion takes place. The process usually takes about 10 days. The end result is that an empty exoskeleton is all that is left of the insect. What happens if I place my finger there? Firstly, I wouldn't recommend you do that. It bites harder than it looks. But if we back you up and do it this way, we could try it. In order to understand that it's serious and dangerous, imagine that it is the mouth of a crocodile snapping closed on your hand. The Venus flytrap has the equivalent pressure per square centimeter than that of a crocodile. Okay, fine. If I'm putting my finger there. Ah, hush, hush. Pressure is very subtle. Still, you can feel it. It doesn't feel unpleasant. These teeth-looking spikes are soft. The pressure of the lobes is hardly noticeable. You can easily free your finger. What do you think? Should I remove my finger? Well, it takes two days to digest a mosquito and a week to digest a fly. How much time do you have? I'm free till Saturday. Till Saturday? Till Saturday, say in 50 years. Okay, go ahead, remove it. Voila! Have a look at what happened when you removed your finger. There's a small gap now. If a trapped insect is still alive, the leaf will squeeze it. And if, say, it was a finger or a speck of dust or a raindrop that went inside, the leaves will snap shut and apply pressure. The pressure will be applied again and will open in about 12 to 16 hours. Just like that.